What's up YouTube, Jay Travelini here. And today we wanted to talk about gas fees, specifically with Ethereum and mining on pools such as Ethermine because I do use that. Anyone that's mined on Ethermine may have seen this message pop up that pretty much says that gas fees in GUI value is higher than 40. So it's holding your deposit and not gonna release it until gas fees become lower. And in this video, I'll talk about what GUI is and how to calculate uh, that gas fee price of what you would pay if you were to raise that value and have it deposited out. So me personally, I don't high, I don't raise that value. I keep it at 40. That is the default value by Ethermine. Uh, but I keep it there just because I don't need to cash out my Ethereum right away. I want to hold on to it for a while. Uh, now, in some cases is where you may need to cash out Ethereum to pay electric rates, so you need it kind of more rapidly or you need it right then and there. You can go in and raise that value or have it send the payment to you and you will just have to pay that gas fee. Uh, but looking at Ethereum, a GUI is short for a GigaWi, which is 1 billion WI, uh, which is the smallest unit of Ethereum. So think of that in terms of being the smallest like form of Ethereum or smallest uh, value, uh, pretty much think of that as like a penny to a dollar. So one ether is equal to one billion GUI. So this, so that's kind of put it on a little bit more of a perspective. Now, one Ethereum standard transfer requires 21,000 units of gas. Now we will go through the multiplier later in this video and I'll show you how I calculated the gas fee that I would have to pay in terms of if I were to raise my GUI value or leave it where it is. Um, but you know, essentially when you are sending Ethereum, paying with Ethereum or transferring it, a lot of times you'll have to pay this gas fee. Now every transaction they say requires 21,000 units of gas. And there's going to be a few things that depend on that. The GUI value at the time, which is the gas fee value, and then the price of Ethereum, which is what's going to get you your dollar amount of what you're actually paying out of pocket. Um, but essentially, if you're only sending 20,000 units of gas, it's going to get dissolved up by the miners. And if you're sending more than 21,000 units of gas, you're pretty much just going to get the rest of that back. It's just going to um, that 21,000 units of gas is what's going to go to the miners for doing the work for that transaction. Now, I did a lot of research on this subject, so everything might not be 100%. My formula may just be a rough estimate. It may not be 100% accurate on the value, but it's going to give you a better example of what you will be paying. Um, now, to loop back a little bit of why I won't go up and down on my fees, like I said, I don't need to sell my Ethereum. I plan on holding it for the long run. So I'm going to wait for these fees to come back down a little bit just so that I cannot pay as much. Now, when we're talking about just dollar amounts, uh, anywhere between four to eight dollars. Some people will say that, oh, I'll rather spend the two dollars and have it in my wallet at the time. Well, if you keep doing that over and over again, eventually it's gonna add up. And in the long run of things, when Ethereum price keeps climbing, it's gonna add up to hundreds and thousands of dollars, depending on how long you're mining and how many transactions you're doing. Now, gas fee isn't based on price per se. Uh, transactions buying and selling can affect it and also Activity on the network is pretty much what's going to drive that gas fee up. The more activity there is, the higher the gas fee is going to be. The less activity there is, the lower the gas fee is going to be. Now, that doesn't mean that when Ethereum's at an all-time high, gas fees are going to be higher. Yes, they will typically be higher when the price of it is higher and typically be lower when the price of it is lower. But there's also activity on the network that can drive that price up. Um, and there's been different examples that I can cover in another video if needed of other things that can drive gas fees up. But right now there's a lot of activity on the network, so gas fee is pretty high. But now let's go inside my computer and I'll show you my Excel file of how I calculated the gas fee. Uh, and like I said, I went through it and I'll tell you and narrow it down to how I got these numbers, where I got them from. And hopefully this helps give some people a better understanding, better idea of what they are paying in gas fees and Maybe give some people peace of mind to wait for lower gas fees if they don't need their payment right away. But let's go inside and I'll show you my formula. 
Okay, so here's ethereum.org, and I'll put this link in the description, but this is where I got the units of gas for a standard Ethereum trans transfer. Uh, just so you know, I'm not just making this number up that I actually got it from a reputable source. And right here it explains uh, how it works. So if you put 50,000 units of gas for your transfer, that the remaining 29,000 would just go back to you. Uh, but vice versa, if you put 20,000, the transaction wouldn't be completed and that 20,000 would just be pretty much dissolved by the miners. So the price where I get it, we're just gonna use Etherscan here. Now, this does show some gas fees and rough estimates, but I'm not gonna use this because I'm gonna use my own calculator, but this shows that a fairly accurate, I'd say closer to accurate uh, gas fee value, uh, and also has a price here. So we'll use that price of 39.42, but I'm gonna use the gas fee value that is on ethermine because that's what i am using so if i go to my sheet here and i put 39.42 in now this is at 164 because that's what it was at earlier but if we go back to ethermine uh, it's now at 94 GUI value so this has been bouncing around a lot so if we go in here and put it at 94 GUI value I'm looking at $7.78 according to my calculation of what I would have to pay in a gas fee just to deposit out my, uh, you know, what I've mined and earned. Now this could also be with trading and everything else when you're trading and buying and selling. You do have to pay these fee values. So how much you send and how much you get to my knowledge doesn't matter as much as just that one transaction. But you can see this is the GUI times the number of gas units. And then to get how many it is, it's this times what it is in terms of what it is in one Ethereum, because it's this in one Ethereum. So that's what one GUI is uh, uh, equivalent to actually. And then this is how much you are sending. So it's K4, which is this times 03, which is the actual price of Ethereum. So that's how I got my calculation. Now it may not be 100% accurate, but it gives you a better representation because if you just go online and go to a GUI calculator, you put in 40 GUI and it's pretty much just telling you it's pennies, but I knew they wouldn't implement something over pennies. And we're talking more than that because if you're getting rapid amounts of like deposits, so I'm doing like, now on Hive, Hive on, they don't calculate, they say you just send it. So I'm paying more in, in fees on there. But this, I'm getting like anywhere between six to seven deposits a month. So if I'm spending that every deposit, I mean, it, it could add up really quick. At 40 GUI, I'm spending 331. So let's get out the calculator here. You trust the old calculator. So what I say was like 94 GUI. So at 778 minus, uh, we're at 4331. So that's, according to my calculation, $4.47. Now, if we calculate that by, let's say, six deposits, look at the 27, almost $27 a month. $27 a month could cover a portion, a, a very small portion, but a portion of my electric cost if I were to look at it that way, but it's also $26.82 of Ethereum that you would have. So over time, you could look at this as a domino effect in a sense where over time, this could increase in value as Ethereum increases. Now, if projections are accurate and this actually hits 10K, this could actually hit do over double this. So you could have just spent like $50 that month in transaction fees just to have your stuff sooner and like i said if you're just holding it it doesn't matter as much you can wait it out eventually the fees will drop back down and it'll come back out now i've had this message a few times and it's always worked that way um, i'll try to put this formula uh excel sheet in my discord i'll try to start a section in there so if you join my discord i'll try and have this file in there for anyone that wants to try and calculate it uh if you notice an error in my formulas or i'm doing something wrong you know please write in the comments below and i can edit it and post an updated video with a more accurate 
fee structure, but right now do, with my research, this is pretty much how I understand that you can calculate a, um, how much you're spending in gas fees. So this number right here is what I will be spending in gas fees just for one transaction at this price. But thanks for checking this video out. You know, if you like the shirt I was wearing in the video, make sure you hit up the J Travelini store in the uh, link below. I'll also link the websites I used in the description, so check those out. But thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.